Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the camera. Deploying odor neutralizer. Oh, oh. Nice oh. 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 passive mode. Object cannot be cleaned. Object is not in optimal condition for cleaning. Spilled crew members.
vitals are in disarray. You seen Arthur today? You'd think folks were pissing in the alleyways as bad as What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. What? You never cease to amaze me, you know that? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I would inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? If you think you don't hear it, you don't feel it, I know better. I just wish you could stick up for yourself. Come see Sam? Oh, sweetie, yeah. Here, I was just leaving. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Scanning for C-2-5.
Hey, Tess. Knock, knock. Go away, White. Uh-huh. You blind, little bird? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. Special, as in unlawful, delicate, and deadly. As to the something, no, it ain't a person. Not this time. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas, left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Shall I inscribe that on your tombstone? Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. 
Might be another way in. Assuming you're courageous enough to track the sewers. Void if I know. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs. Doctor a few financial records. Or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means. Just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. My biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Well, you do look like the honestly dishonest type, by which I mean my favorite customer. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch?
process. Take it. 